What's happening, everybody? John Hendricks here coming at you with another episode of The Drive presented by DraftKings Sportsbook here on Boot Crew Media. Thursday, got our final look at the Saints. Obviously, there was a few key players that were missing. Got the final injury report, so let's kind of just start with who's definitely out on, on Friday or Saturday for the Browns game. Uh, Chris Olave, hamstring injury. We talked about it on, on The Drive yesterday a little bit and just saying that, hey, he got kind of hurt. And that Falcons game went to the medical tent, did return a little bit, but he's going to be out for this week. Uh, Dwayne Washington dealing with cluster headaches, which Dennis Allen said he kind of described it's like migraines, you know, and he's out in the time frame is about three to five weeks roughly for him. But that's one of the reasons why he's not going to be playing. Pete Warner also out hamstring and then Jarvis Landry out with an ankle injury. And actually we learned today after practice that he's going to be placed on injured reserve, thus effectively ending his season. So it's really disappointing because uh, Landry appears in nine games, had 25 catches, the one uh, touchdown in, in the Superdome, you know, didn't even hit 300 yards for the Saints. Obviously a disappointing campaign for Jarvis Landry. You know, um, look, you signed him back in the offseason, relatively risk-free deal, wasn't going to cost you that much, got hurt early on in the season against the Panthers, Tried to come back, had that setback. Uh, he gutted it out through the Vikings game. They just couldn't get him on the field, and then they got him on the field. Just has not been the type of impact that we thought Jarvis Landry would have had this season. And look, maybe, um, you know, if quarterback things were different or if some things were different, maybe that would have changed. But, you know, that's unfortunate. And so him and Chris Olave are definitely going to be out for uh for sunday or saturday excuse me keep wanting to say sunday you know sunday's christmas that's where we got to really put our focus and attention to but landry's going to ir kirk mayor is getting signed to the active roster from the practice squad so guy that was kind of a training camp real hero if you will and putting together some nice things and you know that last preseason game against the packers and has been elevated a couple times and, and such and now gets to be on the active roster so we'll see how the other moves will play out one other thing that we might have to keep an eye on is Andres Pete. Late add on the injury report with the illness. Did not see him today. Uh, you know, again, the team is traveling out today. So that's going to be one of those that you got to just keep an eye on. We expect Calvin Throckmorton to start at right guard at right guard. And then as far as left guard goes, you know, depending on what happens with Pete. You could use Lewis Kidd. You could call up Josh Andrews from the uh, practice squad or, you know, sign him off to the active roster, just depending on how these numbers will work out for you. But, you know, look, the Saints obviously are in a spot where they have to win. Um, Cleveland has to win. Both are 12th in their respective conference. Uh, Browns have kind of really have to go to the wild card and such, um, whereas New Orleans has to win their division. And that's really their biggest and, and best friend right now. So, Given the weather in this game, do you not have Alave? Is that really a, a big deal? I don't think so. It's really unfortunate because of the season that he has been having. Um, but again, they're just going to have to find a way. Marquez Callaway, Rashid Shahid's been really hot. Um, then you're going to have Traquan Smith. Merritt's another guy. Then we'll just kind of have to see how that all plays out. But, you know, the Saints uh, right now, you just got to see what you have with this team, right? With just three games left, they've got to win out and then – it's a possibility they could sneak into the playoffs. It just depends on what happens in Tampa really is one to watch. Um, they play Arizona later at Arizona. So, um, you know, that'll be just kind of how we have to just keep an eye on it. The Saints have just got to take care of business first and then see what else happens. And if they lose this week, there's a chance that they could be eliminated depending on what happens in that Tampa Arizona game. Atlanta is also another one that's watching. They lose to Baltimore, Things could change really bad for them, and they could get eliminated this weekend as well. We'll see how it all plays out. Don't forget to use the code BOOT for DraftKings Sportsbook. Get your promo, $5 bet. Get up to $200 in free bets. Huge, easy money right now. College Bowls are starting all that good stuff. Got playoffs coming up around the corner. Christmas is right here. Obviously, a good gift to have. And as always, stay tuned. We'll have our pregame show here on Boot Crew Media, me and Chris, and then we'll obviously have a lot more to talk about when it comes to the Browns and Saints as we get ready for NFL Week 16. I'm John Hendricks signing out for Boot Crew Media. Thanks, guys.